Why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. For people who are leaders and for people who aspire to be leaders, listening to Neil Armstrong is far better than doing any educational MBA program that exists in the world today. So then of course, Neil, you, you went, to, uh, you flew 78 missions um, in the Korean War. I value those experiences very highly because they, uh, they build a lot of character, they build a lot of backbone, and you are a better person for having, uh, having learned to endure those, that, that environment, that situation, and those risks. Uh, and the consequences are, are severe, uh, and uh, there, there's a, 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 a good side and a bad side. The bad side is that uh, you lose colleagues, and, uh, and, and that's painful. Uh, good side is you, have, you create very strong bonds with, uh, the, with your colleagues that uh, that survive, mm. and those, uh, those bonds exist throughout your lifetime. After the war, he became a hotshot test pilot flying the famous X-15 at 4,000 miles an hour to the edge of the atmosphere. It was during that time in 1962 when he faced his most difficult test, losing his two-year-old daughter Karen to brain cancer. Did that affect your work at that time? Some people, when they're hit with a tragedy like that, they pour themselves into their work. Yeah. It's, it's difficult for me to, to know. Uh, I, uh, I thought the best thing for me to do in that situation was to uh, continue with my work, keep things as normal as, as I could, and uh, try as hard as I could not to, uh, not to have it affect my ability to do useful things. In that same year of grief, Armstrong was chosen to be an astronaut. Armstrong stood out, even among a class of astronauts that had the right stuff. His depth of experience and nerves of steel earned him at age 38 the command of Apollo 11. So you, you, you now then went and did the famous walk to plant the flag, but also to um, respect those that had been before and attempting to reach the moon and had been involved in the process. Tell us about that. Yeah, we, uh, we, we recognized that uh, uh, we wouldn't have been there if it hadn't been for our competitors yeah. uh, in the Soviet Union. It was actually the competition that made both of our programs uh, able to do the things that they achieved. And so uh, we recognized that by putting some medallions for our fallen comrades on both sides who uh, had not lived to see the event. And, uh, 
and that w that was a tender moment. I was going to say there must be such an emotional moment because even in the time I've known you, Neil, as 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 much as that was competitive, there's such an element of decency in you as a person, and to actually be on the moon and to say, but by the grace of God, I'm the one who did it. Yeah. And, and you know, that, that moment where you probably wanted a little privacy, but other than the 400 plus million that were watching, you had that moment. It must be something that you have re reflected on over the years. Uh, it was, uh, it was special and memorable but it was only instantaneous because yes. there was work to do. Yeah. And the, you know, the checklists were all over us. We needed to get on with things. And, yeah. uh, and that's why we were there. We, we were there, there to meditate. We were there to, to get things done. Your courage, with, along with your colleagues, your vision, your, your president of that time, and everyone was such an exemplar of what we could do as, as, as a human race. And you did that, you stayed a very humble man, and there is so much you need to keep talking about to ensure that leaders of today actually see what it's like to be a leader. I know you don't like talking about yourself, so that's why I'm doing it, <laughs> but you really do have an extraordinarily important role in, in the next 20 years, because you have much work to do. Neil Armstrong, you're a wonderful man. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't know what time it was, the lights were low, oh, oh, I leaned back on my radio, oh, oh, some cat was laying down some rock and roll, that a soul he said, then the loud sound that seemed to fight, came back like a slow voice on a wave of Lights on, forward, forward, 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust. Big shadow, four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward, just contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy it down, Eagle. Houston, uh... Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.